Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Divinity Original Sins Definitive Edition. Divinity of Original Sins 2 Definitive Edition. My name is Saiken and we're playing on Honor Mode Plus, a difficulty much harder than the normal Honor Mode, where we are scaling the enemies not only to our level but two levels above. And I have a special, really, really interesting fight for you. I prepared it uh, intensively and uh, in my test runs of uh, this playthrough, it was probably uh, the by far most difficult fight um, or one of the two uh, most difficult fights uh, it is an optional one uh, uh, and on normal honor mode it should be easier uh, uh, but it yields a lot of experience and nice loot as rewards so down here in the section of the harbor before even engaging in the actual castle uh, i like to do the optional fight with all of the different monks as well as uh, the forces here the problem why this fight is going to be so difficult is we're overall fighting i think 13 or uh, enemies at the same time and keep in mind with the uh, with the mods that i've installed it's probably way more difficult than the normal honor mode uh, uh, fight because every single uh, enemy is as tough as a normal boss would be um, and has special abilities. So what we've done here and the solution that I came up with is we're going to uh, fight the entire battle from uh, above uh, ground here. Um, our two DPS will be positioned um, uh, right here. Sibyl is taking the prime position here. Saigon is taking the position here. Um, I will explain later why that is important. He, uh, uh, Both of these characters who can teleport should um, stand in exactly these positions because we're going to drag everyone through this uh, through this entrance and from up here uh, you can beautifully teleport uh, people back all the way down to here essentially rendering their efforts completely useless so that's going to be our really uh, um, uh, devious strategy to deal with them. Um, additionally, all of this here is uh, water slash blood. Uh, we have created a lot of water up to here and we slowed down uh, the area by, by simply uh, creating oil then summoning uh, oil summonings uh, incarnates. Uh, they have uh, the um, the oil creation ability so we created a lot of oily surface mainly to slow down their advance uh, but you uh, for those of you who have seen the other fights uh, you will already see that we can uh, turn all of this here into poison and then uh, start burning it so this will be a gigantic inferno uh, there is a fair disclosure certain chance that the black cat is not going to survive um, uh, this encounter so depending on how and if i can uh, uh, pull this uh, um, off um, no i can't really position it anywhere a perfect position for the cat would be to actually stay here but yeah it's like in reality with the cats, you can't tell them anything. Uh, so the cat uh, might or might not survive it. I don't. I really don't know that. Uh, hopefully, it will. Uh, anyways, a long story short, we're going to start uh, the actual encounter by moving up and buffing up uh, Ethan who's going to quote-unquote pull the enemies. So, Armor Frost. And Fortify. Ethan should actually trigger the enemies by simply being here. There we go. And you can see one, two, three, four. I think there's a fifth one here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I think there's a twelfth one down here as well. So lots and lots of enemies. Oh my gosh, and this is going to that is going to be interesting. So 
First and foremost, let's start with uh, helping Ethan out. He shouldn't be the only one down there. It is absolutely important that he's not getting uh, bucked down uh, uh, too much. The reason why this encounter is going to be really, really difficult is with the mod that I've installed, uh, the enemies also gain inc an incredible amount of additional uh, items. Many of them have dozens of grenades. Um, and they will essentially move here and start throwing grenades up, lots and lots of grenades, uh, which might not sound like a big problem, but I can assure you it's going to deal a hell a lot of a damage. All right, Ethan. uses his abilities to simply get away. We don't want to get away too far because that will um, make them simply um, uh, reset. We don't want to uh, we don't want them to reset. So some of them are starting to to get into the oily uh, parts. I am wondering, are they already in range? Yes, no, maybe. Apparently yes, because we've just started to get in combat. Typical start here as well. And this is definitely needed. All right, let's start with the incarnate. Most of the monks, by the way, don't have any physical uh, armor, which makes them perfect targets for any sort of uh, bull rush. Yeah, we can't reach uh, the Magister Knight, who probably has been the reason why we are in combat to begin with. Um, but what we can do is we can start dishing out some damage. Wonderful. Also got to be careful with the enemy rangers. They tend to they tend to deal a lot of damage once they come closer. And this here it's not quite hitting all of them. Let me check something else. Oh yeah, that is that is good. Um This one here is only hindered by physical armor. Can we hit multiple monks? That I think this here is good enough. It will force one of the monks, uh, the silent monk here, to simply uh, stay there. He is now crippled. So we just want to uh, want them to cluster up. We're buffing Saiken as well. Good. Back into combat. Ifan.
I don't know if this here is going to break combat. Probably not. Oh, it is. Let's re-enter combat. We're pre-buffing ourselves. Heart of Steel. There we go. We need to be on the edge of combat. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, so moving down to here. And then Whirlwinding will allow us to deal the most amount of damage. We need a new Incarnate. And we're going to send it in to lure them out even further. Loza will join the combat pretty soon. Back in combat, uh, it is Sibyl's turn. Let's hit the Magister Ranger here. Nice, nice little critical hit. That was good, excellent. We could hit three people with one shot. I think we're going to use that opportunity. It's too good to pass pass it by. Look at his magical resistance. What is impressive. Almost 400 uh, magical armor. Good, they cluster up nicely here, which will hopefully allow us to use some AoE abilities. And luckily for us, they are not very. Uh, the AI is not very clever in essentially moving. Unfortunately, since all of them are level eight, it's going to be incredibly hard once uh, they are reaching us. They just deal a lot of damage. I mean, look at this. Uh, this guy here alone, the knight, has uh, almost 400 hit points. And we're looking at, what, 300 uh, physical resistance. I bet you he's going to hit for 60, 70 um, per hit, that is. Okay, time to get a bit further away. This time we should be fine. Good. Let's move to here. And knock both of them down. Just to keep them um, in bay. All right, yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. That will cripple two of them, perfect. And you know,
I mean, we could uh, start with the teleportation early. It's only a five turns cooldown. We should be fine. Very nice. Okay, perfect. That made it even more difficult uh, for them to do anything. Plus, dealt a lot of physical damage. So now they are clustered up nicely. Time to remove some more of the armor. Could remove the uh, magical armor. Fortunately, we can only hit two of them. Can't hit the knight directly. No, we can hit three of them. There we go. Nice. Rule of thumb, if you can hit three enemies with one shot, that's essentially dealing six times damage. And now we... <laughs> we already... It's a bit preemptive, to be honest. I wasn't expecting that at all. We are still waiting. I'm pretty sure the Incarnate will die very soon. Okay, so if we were to... Yeah, that's good enough. Um, Let's try to remove physical armor, shall we? Number one, the Magister Ranger. Yep, is bleeding. And number two, just all around um, whirlwind. Perfect. Now, since they are anyways burning, Might as well slow them down one more time and continue uh, continue to make them burn. We would have an advantage if we would use Elemental Affinity, simply because we could cast way more spells. However, um, standing in a non-hostile terrain also has uh, its advantages. And this here is good enough for now. Lots and lots of damage. This is good, um, going way, way better than my any of my test runs. But yeah, you can see, as soon as they are going to reach us, it's going to hurt. Ethan here, single hit, lost all of his magical armor, and he was pre-buffed. Nice. The ranger is burning, bleeding, and poisoned. Okay, let's send in another incarnate. And whilst this uh, thing here is moving down, we might use the opportunity to rebuff again. Once they reach us, it's not going to be fun anymore. All right. Good. It's Sibyl's turn. Let's shortly do the other rebuff for Saiken, and then we're going to continue with uh, Sibyl. So far, the fight looks uh, totally manageable, but I promise you, as soon as they're going to reach us, it's uh, not going to be fun. I've seen many, many 
Uh, one hits. So we could continue hitting two down here. Probably can't hit three. What I would want to do though is still hit the ranger. Because uh, they are the prime damage dealer. Yep, that worked out quite well. Ranger is almost down. Hmm, okay. No one of them has physical armor, so might as well make them bleed. Nice, very nice. And let's shield up. Plus move back. So our first line of defense is broken. I think they are going to approach us now. Can't hold them back uh, much longer. They unfortunately still have a lot of magical resistance. The guys down here, however, do not have magical resistance. So this here it's going to be a nice little hit. Three of them entangled. Beautiful. All right. They officially have uh, broken the uh, broken the part uh, the flaming part, so we now need to start the inferno here. Yeah, they are slowing us down. Clever. By the way, let us make sure that Ifan can definitely get out of here. Good, back into the fight. It's time for the incarnate. Um, I mean, yeah, both of them have no physical armor. Might as well knock them down. Of course, we miss. Ah, that's lamentable. Okay. Got to make sure Ifan can get out of here. Sibyl's turn. And Sibyl has at least two, if not three, enemies down here that she could hit. Unfortunately, only two. But I'm okay with her continuing to get rid of one of the archers. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, 
time to switch everything up. And... Damn, I wanted to hit at least two with the poison. Alright, good enough. Um, so, one down, 11 to go, or 10 to go. Try focusing on the Magister here. All right, time for a new incarnate. That and that and we're going to buff up everyone. Good. I'm not seeing the cat, I hope it's gonna be fine. Not sure why exactly the incarnate can't stay in combat. Apparently a bug or something. So let's resummon it, buff it up. Okay, perfect, good. So in terms of damage, uh, Seville shouldn't stand and fire. So we're using Flash Sacrifice. Unfortunately, um, hasn't cleansed uh, the fire. Magister is down. This time, I think I prepared, over-prepared a little bit. Uh, this year worked out way, way better than I would have anticipated. So... I was introducing this as a very difficult fight. But we're doing so well. You know, let's stay here. We don't need him at the moment. Another ranger just died. Crippled both of them. Nice. Good, finally, we're, we're being attacked.
so far we haven't even taken damage so if you want to kind of play it safe on honor mode by now probably would have killed uh, all of them easily Something's not 100% working. Okay, now we can finally select the arrow. Good, what we're going to do is taking a single shot. And we're going just a little bit back. I did that the last time when Sibyl was under heavy attack. Because up here she's safe. And these guys will have no target. Well, of course, other than the incarnate. Okay, some of the incarnate here is bugged. I don't know why exactly. But we can simply resummon it here. And there we go. All right, Ethan. We're going to save two of his uh, action points. The main problem with letting him stand in the fire is it just deals too much damage, o uh, damage over time. Good, we're hasting ourselves. Good. The Inquisitor is just waiting here until the fire stops. For your info, just uh, for the game mechanics, the fire won't stop until um, if you continue to cast something into the fire, either uh, either fire spells or uh, geomancy spells. In both of the cases, the fire will continue to simply burn, burn, and burn. Up here, we haven't put any um, any spells up. So what we're going to do is uh, that that's why the uh, fire has uh, stopped burning. We now need to wait for a single round. We're simply going to do that. Sibyl can only buff herself. And that's pretty much about it. Let's put Ethan up here because with his uh, black backlash, he can easily jump down if needed, and he's also regenerating. Has the fire just stopped burning? 
Okay. Well, I stand corrected. It can stop burning. So what we need to do is we at least need to prepare a little potential zone over here. Good. Saiken needs to deal some damage and I think unfortunately we can't reach anyone down there. Yeah. That's too bad. He's hasted and does not have any opportunity to hit someone. Well, we're just going to wait. All right, the incarnate uh, starts cleaning up. Slowly but surely everyone's moving in. That is helpful. Good. Los is just rebuffing up here. And I still think we can see anyone. So let's take our invisibility, move up and wait. They should be able to attack us. And next turn we're in position, ready to shoot them. Good. So, in terms of starting this round, how about creating a big rain over there. Yep, beautiful. It's exactly what we needed. And now, let us start with this. And this. And this. Very nice. Finally, let's motivate this guy to also move up. Alright, this is going to be a beautiful whirlwind attack. Five targets hit. Really good. Good. So we're done with the incarnate. And we're down to like what? Four, five, six enemies. Finally, the rest is getting in combat. Can't reach the monk over there. So instead, let's prepare ourselves for the approach. They will come very soon.
And Losa is going to... Oh, we're one... One action point short. I must have mis mismoved. I was uh, trying to uh, retain two action points and actually teleport him down here. Very nice. That's exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. And let's make sure that Saiken is fully buffed up. Plus, now that we're in combat, we can also heal him. There we go. Good. Time to revenge and to kill the ranger here. It's one shot. That's two shots. That's the third shot. And the fourth one, nice little critical hit, by the way. Wait, okay, we're standing in fire, perfect. Good. That takes care of the ranger, great. I'm going to haste ourselves. And I think I've just overprepared that battle here. Feels like using an atomic bomb to, to kill something absolutely harmless Good time for a new uh, another incarnate. I think we're down to two enemies. Yeah, we could jump down. But that would probably be a little bit too ballsy. Let's jump to exactly here. Hit this guy. And once the last silent monk is down, we can simply going to uh, we can simply start rushing in. And once again, we are unable to see anything. Can we at least use AoE spells? No, we can't.
Okay, can we hit this guy? Yes, no, maybe. Uh, the un answer is no, unfortunately. Okay. Time for us to move down. Unfortunately, can't jump anywhere without a valid enemy target. But since this here is leaving combat, he might be able to move even further than I would have expected. Good. Perfect. Alright, this kills the totem. With the totem kill, even if you kill friendly totems, you're uh, getting the executioner buff. So, we can continue dealing a lot of damage. So, only one Magister Inquisitor is left. Should be easily able to clean this one up. And I apologize for making a bigger fuss out of it than it actually has, has been. I was under the impression after the test runs that I had that uh, this is going to be one of uh, the most difficult fights. Turn out that I overprepared. I cheesed it just way too much, and at the end it turned out to be only moderately difficult. <laughs> yeah, well... Have we killed everyone, or...? Is there anyone left? Nope. We definitely killed everyone. So first things that you should know, because uh, we're running against the time limit of the video, um, the reason why I absolutely like to do the combat and why I think it's a fun, uh, really fun uh, combat is the entirety down here does not only provide incredibly good loot from the enemies, but you can loot like and a shit ton of, uh, of uh, potential crafting materials. Really, really helpful. Let's take a look here. We got ourselves uh, some caster gloves. There we go. That's a beautiful caster rope. Pretty high amount of cash loot as well. So that was almost a thousand gold pieces uh, plus many, many really decent items. Yep, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, with a beautiful view on the 
Beach of uh, Fort Joy. We're going to end today's um, episode. If you enjoyed it and uh, if you have comments towards this fight, although it was, to be fair, uh, pretty one-sided, uh, please leave them down below. In the next episode, we're going to go and start uh, cleaning up the castle, which is going to be great fun. So mm, a couple of big fights are ahead of us. Thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, see you in the next run. Bye-bye.